what's going on Timpers here and in today's video I'll be teaching you guys how you can make your very own stocks or textures and stuff like that if you guys want to make your own GFX pack which is what I'm going to be doing very soon so basically I'm just going to be showing you guys what I will be doing to make some awesome stocks uh, for my new GFX pack, my 2k GFX pack. Uh, in just a few easy simple steps I'll be doing some Photoshop like effects and filters and all that type of stu stuff so make sure you uh, stick around hit the like button subscribe if you're new and share the video comment down below what you want to see from me in the next video and without further ado let's get into the video guys so guys we're here in Photoshop and now we're gonna create some awesome stocks that you guys can either use for backgrounds banners you can use it for anything but what I'm gonna be showing you is how to make some stocks for a GFX pack um, and stuff like that so you want to open a new document go to new and we'll put it to 1280 by 720 like so uh, it's really easy this guys so um, stick around for the whole video and you'll learn some sick tips and tricks to uh, make a nice stock. So first of all, we're just going to create a new layer and we're going to make it like a black, darkish black colour, not too black. Um, and then we want to make a new layer and then go over to the brush tool and make this white. And we're just going to add a little highlight at the top, like so. And just bring down the opacity to about 50%. So then once you've done that, uh, we're just going to be using lots of filters in this guys, so you want to go over to the filter, uh, filter, render, and then go to clouds, and uh, once you've done that, you want to go back up to filter, and then go to stylize, and oh no, you, you, once you've done that, you want to go over to uh, pixelate, and then you want to go over to mosaic, and then you can increase this up to... Um, whatever you want, I think I'm just going to do 10 10 looks, actually no, I'll do a bit more so just go back over to Pixlite, Mosaic maybe 26 looks pretty good and then once you've done it, go over to Filter Stylize and Find Edges and then press Control U, I mean not Control U Control I and then you want to change it to Overlay and then once you've done that, press Ctrl J to duplicate it. And then press Ctrl U. Make it all the way to, to white and it just kind of gives it a little bright, it brightens it up a little bit. So once you've done that, you want to go over to the uh, new layer. And basically right here you can choose whatever colour you want. Um, I might go with like a turquoise colour, something like this and just click in different places and just make sure you just fill a bit of it and once you've done that bring down in fact no keep it on normal and bring down the opacity a little bit let's say 25 then you want to go to filter blur gaussian blur and just increase it I think that looks alright. You just want it to blur out a bit so you can see it a little bit. And then once you've done that, you want to group all of this together by pressing Ctrl G and then Ctrl E. And you want to duplicate it. Go over to Filter. And go to Filter Gallery. And this will open up this cool box thing. Then you want to go to Stylize and then Glowing Edges. And then we're just going to increase some of this stuff right here. Make sure you create some boxy type effects, something like this. And you can really mess around with this, it's up to you guys. That looks alright. And then once you've done that, um, choose whatever you want. I think I'm going to go with Colour Dodge and then I'll probably duplicate it. And it gives it a cool effect, I might rub away parts of it so it's not as intense. So that looks pretty good. And you want to duplicate, uh, no, uh, you want to group it all together. Create a new layer, and then we want to go to the white. I'm just going to add some little overlays in certain places, like so. Maybe one small one in the middle there, and change it to overlay. Gives it a really cool effect right there. 
And then once you've done that, you want to group it all together, Control G, Control E, then duplicate it again. We're just doing lots of duplications right here. And um, what should we do? There's lots of different things you can do. There's loads. Um, maybe crystallize. These effects are really cool to use. And then you just want to press OK, and it gives this cool effects right here. I'm just going to scroll through the overlays to see which one looks best. Um, I think Color Dodge probably looks best there. Gives it a really nice effect. Just gonna uh, create another layer. And um, well, there's lots of different things you can do. Um, I'm just gonna take a quick look. You can add um, wind if you want as well. I think that gives it a really cool effect. Maybe stagger. Stagger gives it a really nice effect and maybe bring down the opacity a bit. And what you, what I'll, you can also do this as well guys, just group it all together, uh, duplicate it, then go over to filter gallery, um, then go back to what was on before which is glowing edges and just going to bring, put the brightness up to about 15. And you don't want this. You want the smooth, the smoothness to be quite um, high. Maybe something like 12. And the edge width, you want that to be around six. And once you've done that, you want to press Control U, um, and then bring down the saturation all the way, so it gives it's like a black and white effect. And then you want to go to Overlay, and then bring down the opacity to 30%. Just leave it like that. That gives it a really cool effect. So there's lots of different things. I'm just showing you some cool filters you can do to make some overlays and stuff to put on your banners, um, put it in your GFX pack and stuff like that. Maybe you want, if you want, you can add a new layer and then add a, a brush at the very top, and then change it to overlay, and then maybe one at the bottom as well. Gives it a nice effect. And that's basically it guys, um, It's a real, it looks like a really cool stock that, like a little tech um, type of um, effect um, for gaming banners and all that type of stuff. So I hope you did enjoy, and you can also, once you've done that, if you don't really like the colour, you can press Ctrl U on it, and then you can change the colour to a different type. It's really cool. So I hope you did enjoy guys. Make sure you smash the like button if you have not already. Subscribe if you're new. Let's try and get to 2.3 guy 2.3k guys. It would really really mean a lot. And uh, by sharing that will make it uh, happen a lot quicker. So make sure you do that. Comment down below what you want to see in my next video and I hope you did enjoy guys and I'll see you in the next video.